Miss Clark and this is my fourth grade class here at Ratcliffe Elementary. Today we'll be covering electricity. Alright guys, so can I have somebody read my I can statement before we get started? Go ahead, Gabby. Historical, historical contributions. contributions. Thank you, ma'am. I can understand historical contributions in electricity. So we talked about three people yesterday, right? Or we read about three people. What were those three people? Byron? Benjamin Franklin. Benjamin Franklin. J.B.? Michael Faraday, and my last one, Taye. Thomas Edison. Yes, Thomas Edison. And we also talked about, yes. So today what I want you to do, please take out your study guide, your electric, electricity study guide, and your science interactive notebook. I want your page to look like my page, please. Orange. If you don't have a study guide, please look with the frame, but you should because you had extras yesterday. Go ahead and open your notebook and turn to your next clean page. And we all should have the same Venn diagram. study guide because I assume some of us still need help remembering who is who, right? Yeah. Yes. So go ahead and make your three circles on your page. I see Jaleel getting started, so Shayla's getting started, and you just label their names by the circle so you know who is who. If you want to initial their names, that's fine too. These are your notes. Thumbs up when you're ready. Byron's ready. Khalil's ready. Where's your thumb? Jada B is ready. Taye is ready. Tashayla's ready. Jada J is ready. Jaleel is ready. Just waiting on my last few. Michaela's ready. All right, so let's talk about Thomas. Let's talk about Benjamin Franklin first. Why is Benjamin Franklin important, or what contribution did he give to electricity? Why is he important? If you don't remember, it's on your study guide. Why is, ben why is yes, Benjamin Franklin important? J to J? He proved that <coughs> lightning is a form of electricity. Yes, he proved that lightning is a form of electricity, right? He also did something else. What else did he do? He did something else. What else was that? Zion? He also invented the lightning line. Yes, so Miss Clark's going to write that. So what was the first thing we said? He proved that lightning is a form of electricity. What else did he do? 
He invented the yes, invented the lightning rod. What else I might draw in this box is a little lightning bolt. Yeah, so I remember why he's important. If I see this bolt, then I know he has something to do with what? Electricity. Electricity and what else? Lightning. lightning. Remember we try to think of ways to help us remember facts? Yes. Yeah. yeah, so that picture might help me. Thumbs up when you're ready. It doesn't have to be written the same way I wrote mine. These are your notes, so whatever's gonna help you is what you should write. All right, I see some thumbs, so I'm gonna keep going. What about Michael Faraday? Why is he important? Michael Faraday, why is he important? Be Mari. He's important because he. You have your study guide? Why is Michael Faraday important? He discovered magnetism. Yes, so he discovered that there was a relationship between electricity. And magnetism, there was a word for that. We talked about that last week. What word was that? We talked about a word that combined electricity and magnetism. What word was that? Let me see. Michaela? Electromagnet? Yes, electromagnetism. Remember that? Because remember we broke it up? Yeah. It said electro with electricity. And magnetism was a magnet. So he connected, he found a relationship between electricity and magnetism. You know a way you can remember that? No? M. M. Michael Magnet. Thumbs up when you're ready. Is there a picture we could draw? What kind of picture could we draw, Taye? We could, we could draw a magnet. I could draw, remember we talked about the horseshoe magnet? Yeah. One side is north, the other side is south, yes. There's my magnet. You ready for the next one? Mm -hmm. No. What's wrong? Is that word down there? Is that Bound. Is that what? Is that that yeah, found. Mm -hmm. You're welcome. Um. All right, last one, Thomas Edison. Why was Thomas Edison important? Why was Thomas Edison important? Taya? He made a better version of light bulb. 
Repeat it for me. He made a better version of light bulb. Yes. Did he invent the light bulb? No. No. We cannot confuse that. He did not invent the light bulb. He created a better invention of it. So I want you to go ahead and write that. And if we had a picture that we wanted to draw with that, what would we draw? Or what could we draw? A light bulb. Yes. But we need to also make a note that he did not what? He did not invent it. So I'm going to put that in red. Did not invent. light bulb. So if I decided to draw my light bulb, that looks like a light bulb, right? Yeah. Kind of. Thumbs up when you're all done. you to think what do they all have in common what is something that I could put here that they all share Khalil yeah they all con contributed to electricity right mm -hmm. yes some of them had different contributions he was about electromagnetism Benjamin Franklin was about lightning, and Thomas Edison was the light bulb. But they all mattered in the forms of electricity, right? Right, so in this little area where they all connect, that's what we should put. It may not be big, so what I might write is just electricity for me, because that's not a big space. But I know that they all had something to do with forms of electricity. Everybody finished? Mm -hmm. All right, when you're done, I want you to close your interactive notebook, close your study guide, because we're about to play Kahoot. Yeah. But first, I'm gonna quiz you, so I'm gonna cut my board off, and your notes are away. So now let's see what we remember. Why was Michael Faraday important? Why was Michael Faraday important? Byron? Because he, the, he created. Yep, say it. Yes, electromagnetism. He found a relationship between electricity and magnetism. Good job. Remember, we remember that with M and M, right? Yes. What about Benjamin Franklin? Benjamin Franklin, Jaleel? Yes, what else did he do? Gabby? He told you he invented the lightning rod. That should help you figure out what else he did. Good job. He, yes, he saw that lightning was also a form of electricity. My last one, who is that? Who am I missing? Edison. Michaela, who am I missing? Edison. Thomas Edison. Somebody tell me, why was Thomas Edison important? We already talked about electromagnetism. We've already talked about lightning. So their last one, what is it, J to J? Uh, Thomas Edison um... Somebody help her out. Thomas Edison. Somebody give her a hint mm. so she can say the rest. Khalil, give her a small hint. Um, it involves lightning in it. So, no, not lightning. Oh. It involves something. Oh. oh. What was it? 
he invented a better version of a light bulb. Yes, he invented, thank you, Khalil, a better version of the light bulb. Did he invent the light bulb? No. No, he created a better version. Very good job. Thank you so much for joining my class. I hope you all learned contributions made in electricity. Rapid Rams!